Welcome back. This is KTN Prime. Deported opposition activist Miguna Miguna landed at the Toronto International Airport to a rousing welcome marked with slogans of welcome home general from a handful of men and women. But is Miguna as controversial in Canada as he has been here in Kenya? Our reporter Moremi Mwangiri visits past Miguna controversies in Canada and explains why the Miguna passport saga is not a new thing here in Kenya. Miguna Miguna, hours after being deported miles away from his country of birth, would walk to this rousing welcome at Toronto International Airport in Canada. The slippers I'm wearing because my feet are swollen mm -hmm. and uh, I can't wear my shoes. And you know, I took off. Mm -hmm. uh, they took me without uh, any socks. Mm -hmm. So this is what I've been wearing. This has been my pillow. I put it like this and I put my head on it. Wow. There is nothing else I have. Kenyans are respectful. But the man famous for his trademark white skull cap. And I'm saying, calm, baby, calm. <laughs> and that brand slogan, while daring even the fiercest of his detractors to a fight, is not new to controversies, even in this, his second home of Canada. After fleeing Kenya for Canada at the height of the Kanu regime in 1988, Miguna hit his first major controversy in Ontario province of Canada on the 4th of November 2002 when police arrested him at his law firm and charged him with sexually assaulting a female immigrant who had sought legal aid at his law firm. When he appeared in court for commencement of his trial, Miguna was rearrested and charged with three further counts of sexual assault, arising from complaints of another immigrant client. But a year later, the judge handling the case at the Ontario Court of Justice found Miguna innocent after it emerged that there were contradictions in the testimonies of the two women and what appeared like a common motive to implicate Miguna. Furious for his prosecution, Miguna sued the Queen's Office of the Attorney General in Ontario province and police for malicious prosecution. In his suit, Miguna accused the police of publicly humiliating him during his arrest in front of his professional colleagues in a manner he argued had injured his reputation and caused him serious anguish and trauma. Miguna accused police of treating him so because he was an African. By the end of the trial, which went up to the Ontario Court of Appeal on November 28, 2008, a three-judge bench failed to reprimand the respondents, but awarded Miguna 10,000 US dollars in costs. Back in Kenya, towards the end of his service as Prime Minister's advisor in Raila Odinga's office in the Grand Coalition government, Miguna shocked the nation when he launched his book, Peeling Back the Mask. <laughs> the book was seen as a ploy to destroy the image of Odinga just before a general election. People who are running around scared, they must know that what I have done is I've shot a warning shot in the air and they have seen smoke. <laughs> But I've not aimed at anybody. Alikuwa me elevate Raila to the super, super god. That was Miguna's words, not mine. And I'm quoting him. Why, why they turn around? Why they turn around? Amolo Odinga. His return into Raila's inner circle a few months ago surprised only those who are yet to understand the nature of Kenyan politics and the politicians. But this time, the Jubilee regime came down on him like a thunderbolt. Back home, Miguna's deportation has left a trail of legal and political storm. The Kenyan government now renewing the Miguna citizenship storm, ignited by retired President Moi Kibaki's PNU party. The Interior Ministry's latest allegation of alleged collusion between Miguna and former officials of Immigration Department during the issuance of his Kenyan passport in 2009, rekindling memories of Miguna's defense by this man now deceased. Until I see evidence that uh, Miguna Miguna at one time renounce his Kenyan citizenship. He is a citizen by birth. It's not easy to kill a, re a revolution. <laughs> the one, one they tried, but they can't. One thing you can tell Ruto yes. and Uhuru and the Machang right now, if they are watching you. If they are watching me, <laughs> come, baby, come. <laughs> and with Miguna promising a legal, political, and constitutional fight back for his Kenyan citizenship, the Miguna saga, it appears, is far from over. 
Murimi Mwangi Kitchen, 